This is everything I've learned from the first five weeks of starting a podcast in 2024. If you want to check out the full interviews from Lifesaurus, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I didn't really tell anyone that I wanted to start this podcast at the start of the year. It was one of my New Year's resolutions. I had two. I wanted to stop drinking for a year because I want to see what the effects like on my body and my brain. Won't go into that right now. But the second one was I wanted to start a, a podcast. And the reason I wanted to start a podcast as opposed to anything else is because I wanted to have some sort of creative project to work on. And I like interviewing people. With my job on the radio, you don't necessarily get to do long form interviews with people and ask them questions that you want to do. You kind of interview people for the radio, not for what you want to do. Um, I'm decent at working with audio, so I like editing and I also like video editing as well. So combining all of those into one, make a podcast and see if I can also uh, maybe not grow. Grow is not the right word, but develop a, an online presence for for something and see if I can develop my skills in that area. Just something to work on because I feel like people go into New Year's and just start living their lives the same way they did for the past 12 months. And that's fine. If, if you've nailed your life and you know everything you want to do that's I'm not having a go at anyone who wants to do that but for me I was just a little bit bored in certain aspects of my life and I just wanted to have something to work on and develop my skills in so I decided I was going to start the podcast and then when I released the first uh, episode or the the post that I put on Instagram saying I'm starting the podcast you get this initial wave or this rush of people going like wow that's so cool like that's awesome congratulations what is it tell us about it what's it going to be what are you going to do with it and the first episode that you put out everyone gets behind it and they're like congratulations wow this is amazing it's going to be so good and everyone has the best intentions they want to support you and then by the time you get to episode two or the second week the excitement has died down from other people because, and it makes sense though, because people see the first bit and they go, this is awesome. And by the time the second one comes out, they realize that like you releasing that podcast hasn't changed anything about their life. And they're so focused on their life, whichever, that's just the way things are. People got stuff going on. Um, so I guess what I took away from that was you can't start something like this, a creative project thinking that the gratification is going to come all the time. Like you have that initial gratification of everyone thinking, saying this is great, thinking it's great, then it dies off. And then from there, the only thing that's been able to keep me going, like I never started doing this podcast because I wanted other people to, to tell me how good I am. But the only thing that's been able to keep me consistent for the first five episodes is the fact that I actually want to do it. So I think some people start these creative projects or public creative projects. So they'll post it on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. They get the gratification from people and then it stops coming in. There's no money that you get from it. Not everyone is going to be downloading episode number two. And then it's even worse when you get to episode number three. As good as the episode might be, but people just have their own stuff going on. And if you don't have a, like a following or something on social media or a reason for people to tune in to episodes two and three, they kind of just go back to their own lives and do what it is they want to do. Which, as I said, that's absolutely fine. But you, when you start something like this, I think a key to it is not expecting it and also not doing it for that. Like I think if I if I had started this because I wanted people to tell me how good I was and go, wow, well, I listened to episode number two, that was great. And it just wouldn't, yeah, I would have quit by now, I think. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have gotten to episode four, I don't think. So I've really been enjoying it, um, which is why I've been able to go. What else I've learned from doing a podcast is it's not just as easy as getting a camera and a microphone and recording, especially when you do a, like an interview style podcast. You, If you want to do it properly, 
there are a lot of elements that you have to uh, meet. So first of all, you have to find a guest. You have to have software to record, to edit the audio and the video that you get. Uh, you have to also, yeah, take the video. I feel like a lot of people do podcasts and to- don't take video, but that's such an important element now. Like my, a lot of my engagement, most of my engagement has been video over the actual podcast audio. So that's like just as, in, just as important to get people to know about what you're doing. Uh, and then, yeah, if you don't have money to put into it, you're doing all that yourself. So you record it, download, uh, edit the audio, edit the videos. But then when it comes to editing the videos, there's multiple elements to that. So you edit uh, short form videos for reels, longer or medium form videos for YouTube, maybe the whole video for YouTube. And then finding like, then you get the videos and you put captions on them, uh, different bits of media and finding well, what, what you think is going to work for uh, like engagement online. So yeah, there's so much to it and I've, I've really been enjoying it. I think that's why I'm still doing it because there's no, you, you don't you don't get paid to do your own online podcast. And by the time you're releasing the fourth or fifth episode, when you run into people who know about the podcast, they're not telling you, oh, that was great. Because they got their, as I said, they got their own stuff going on, which is fine. Uh, so yeah, it's been interesting. And shout out to my older brother. I think he is the only one <laughs> who's listened to every single episode so far. So you'll probably hear this driving to work. And uh, thanks, D. Bloody legend, mate. 